So the point of view of a criminal, how would that be shown differently? It would just be within the actions, within the mind? I mean, it just seems like both are going to be very methodical. Criminals are very smart. They're usually very intuitive. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's a fine line sometimes between yes. both sides. Yes. Anyway, we won't go into that topic. But, but would they still be very meticulous in their actions, or would they be more sloppy? And that's why some are caught. Oh, my favorite topic. Organized versus disorganized offenders. We have a word for it, or a name, a phrase. Organized would be Ted Bundy. Very easily, just to give you a, a real example. Very bright man. Very bright man. Uh, he actually took his own, not his own life, he, he, took, his, he took his own life, his, his control of his own courtroom. Yeah. He, he, and he, he, he defended himself. The right before he sentenced him, the judge looked him straight in the eye and said, Sir, I would love to have you practice in my courtroom. And then something along the lines of, however, you're a sick, disgusting man and you're going to, di to die. Um, it was a very powerful moment, um, very powerful. But, but back, back to, he's an organized defender. Things were very neat. His crime scenes were very clean. There is very little evidence. Many times his crime scene was different than his dump site. The crime scene being where, well, in murder, the murder actually happened would be the crime scene or the scene of the crime. Whereas a dump site would be where you find the body. In Silence of the Lambs, they were finding them in rivers and th in, in lakes and things like that. So that was not the crime scene. He didn't kill them in the river. He killed them elsewhere. And, and as we find out later, he kills them. Spoiler alert. He kills them in, the, in his basement and then disposes of the bodies. Mm -hmm. Interesting, the reason I love that book so much, and it is my favorite book, is, is Red Dragon. Silence of the Lambs is, is good too. But he amalgamates Ted Bundy, um, the Theodore Kaczynski, which is uh, the Unabomber, maybe not him, he, he amalgamates about four or five traits of serial killers. Ed Gain with the skin, that which Texas Chainsaw Massacre was taken from, um, taken way out of proportion, of course. Zodiac Killer. Zodiac Killer, yeah, which may have been Theodore Kaczynski actually. So, if you don't know this, this is just just a, a tidbit. The manifesto of the Zodiac Killer, the very last segment, they could not decipher. But if you put in Theodore Kaczynski, it finished it exactly. Wow, did not know that. Yes, it's, I study weird things. <laughs> yeah. Which is, why, which is why we're here. 